Hey everybody, this is Kim Danke coming to you from the Shibboleth Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia with Shibboleth Success Story, Benita Crow here to share her journey so far in Shibboleth. Hey, hey Benita, how are you? Hey Kimberly, fine, thank you. She called me Kimberly because she's my cousin and that's how she knows me as Kimberly. Y'all know me as Kim, she knows me as Kimberly. <laughs> that's right <laughs> um so thank I'm you proud. i was gonna say i'm proud to claim you as my cousin <laughs> awesome thank you thank you same here same here um so what we're going to do today is i'm just going to ask you a few questions if you don't mind and that way you can tell us all about your journey so far on shibboleth and so um the first question is when did weight become an issue for you it's um my weight started creeping up as I became older but then I also found out that I have a medical condition and it's called insulin resistance where I produce um three I produce more insulin than what my muscles can absorb which makes it then stores fat so that had that's when I really started gaining realizing well that's when I realized what my problem was and why I was gaining weight awesome okay well thank you for telling us that because there may be a, other people out there with that same medical condition and this definitely will help well before before that and just in life did you ever have any previous diet attempts at all many <laughs> I've tried um, slim i did slim fast years ago felt terrible i've joined different gyms i've had personal trainers I've done weightlifting, um just multiple things and some you know some i didn't feel like i said i didn't feel good on them some um just wasn't effective but then also the, the gyms were very expensive or the personal training was very expensive and then the gyms i just with my schedule I couldn't go regularly so um, I've tried quite a few different methods and all worked or most worked the gyms and the personal training worked when I did them but I just couldn't maintain it the same yes. level of commitment yes yes and so what um, what made you want to join Shibboleth well I started seeing you on Facebook just get more and more slim and more beautiful and so I called and asked what you did and you told me and when you you were just so enthusiastic and you explained that shibboleth controls insulin release well since insulin is my problem I thought this may solve my problem so I decided that it was something that I would attempt and then once I had my next lab work I thought I'll let my doctor determine is it something that I should continue so that's what drove me made me try shibboleth awesome and do you see that uh, shibboleth is something that you can do for the rest of your life Absolutely, and that's why I'm so excited about it because of the different diets I've done and the different things. This is something I know I can do, mainly because it's real food. And it's just a matter of how you combine it, the portion control, drinking, staying hydrated. And if you, once you learn the different categories and you learn how to combine your food, Yes, and, and because again, I'm eating food and I, I love that. It, and because health is what's important to me. And when you're eating healthy foods, then your body's going to respond and you, and I, I, as I get older, I wanna be healthy. And I yes. believe Shibboleth is going to keep me in a healthy lifestyle. That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, I normally ask what was your light bulb moment um, so do you have a different answer for that than one you've already given as of uh, then I've got to do something besides the insulin resistance? Um, really, I think the light bulb moment was when my last lab work um, was conducted and the results, I was just getting closer and closer to becoming, a, becoming diabetic and realizing that that just wasn't uh, the life that I wanted to have. Um, so that was really my light bulb moment. I had to make a choice. Gotcha. Gotcha. So when did you officially start Shibboleth? 
Mm, I forgot the date I joined, but I officially started the diet January 27th. And I think I joined maybe a month before and I just wasn't quite ready. And then one day I thought I would give it a try. So the day before I ate everything in my pantry and refrigerator that I wanted to, that I wanted to eat thinking I was going to be deprived of everything. And then when I started it again, I just went full force. And because I see my goal, the, my goal I have a, a goal that I want to meet. And so I, once I started, I've been, I've had perfect days ever since. Ever since? Wow, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. What an accomplishment. That's awesome. And also tells people that it's doable, that, you know, you can have perfect uh -huh. days and they're very doable. So um, since January 27th, how much have you lost so far? Because today is March 20th, y'all. So those of you that are listening, she started on the 27th. Today's the 20th of March. Yeah, and I did write I wrote that down, um, what my, how, okay, I started on January 27th at 183 pounds. Five weeks later, I lost 10% of my weight, um, a little more than 10%, 18.7 pounds. And I know Travis says it takes four weeks. Well, it just took me five. I mean, I really couldn't even believe it'd be five, much less four. And now I'm in the eighth week. And this morning I weighed 158.8 pounds, which is, that's 24.2 pounds lost. I'm only 0.8 ounces from losing 25 pounds. And my average weight loss per week is 3.4 pounds. And again, I'm satisfied. Um, I eat great. In fact, sometimes it's more than I can, you know, sometimes it's more than I would normally eat, but it's health. Again, it's healthy. So it's good food. Uh oh, it's, you're stuck. <laughs> okay, you were stuck too. So we're here now. Well, awesome. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go to the next question because I think everybody heard that part. But um, what what is it that you like to eat best on the program? My favorite, I love bre breakfast is my favorite and because I love um, my egg for breakfast. So I have one egg and I load it with raw vegetables and um, I scramble it. And I have a Canadian bacon, um, fair life fat free milk. And that's my breakfast. And then, and then I may, sometimes I have the carb quick four ingredient um, biscuit and I'll have that along with it. So that's my largest meal for the day. And I look so forward to it every day. Awesome, that's wonderful. Have you done any exercise in this time period at all? I started yesterday. I walked a, a mile and a half and I think I'm going to continue, but that's, I just finally decided I'm ready to start walking. And it, I enjoyed it. That's awesome. Well, you know, when you lose uh, almost 25 pounds, you feel better and you feel like walking when before you might not have felt like walking. Didn't feel like it. Your legs didn't want you. And then also my feet would hurt. And, you know, the inflammation, um, when you control the insulin, the in inflammation is also controlled. So there's, I don't have the, the inflammation in my body, which makes it easier to walk. And, you know, I, my goal is to to walk really further than a mile and a half, but that's what I did, and I'm proud of it. That's awesome. That is fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. So what is your motivation now to keep going? My health, my motivation is health, and I keep looking to my font, to the maintenance. I want my ultimate um, goal, my ultimate weight to be 135 pounds, because on my BMI index, I was at 183, I was obese. Now I'm <coughs> over And I, when I reach 135, I'll be healthy, in the healthy range. So I just keep thinking, surely I can just keep staying perfect until I reach that 135. And once I reach it, I know that 12 days out of the month, I can eat whatever I want and then keep perfect all the other days, which I already know is easy. And I can maintain that weight. And be and be healthy. And yes, and don't you do 
and and control my it's have my insulin controlled exactly i love that and don't you just love the fact that we've got these guidelines that we can follow but then there's also this freedom that we can still enjoy Absolutely. things mm -hmm. i yes. love that i love that yeah. well um, so, many, so many choices <clears throat> there are well um i know because we've talked that you've got some great lab results to share and i, I would just like for you to share everybody that yeah um and my doctor was very pleased too um he does i see an endocrinologist every six every six months and he does lab work so the last one was conducted in um july and my appointments um weren't quite six months i had to postpone it twice actually but it ended up in february three weeks into shibboleth i mean three weeks get this and every abnormal um lab every everything that was abnormal either improved or became normal again but the biggest change was my cholesterol which went from 236 last time and almost always is 240 236 it's never never any lower it was 170. Wow. now it's just three weeks in and my doctor was very impressed and he wanted the information on for his other patient hopefully for his other patients i hope that was his reason that's awesome i love that well yeah we talked one day and you said anything that was abnormally low corrected itself and anything that was abnormally high corrected itself and i'm just so happy about that and i know that health is your focus so that is too um so i'm going to show i'm going to share everybody a picture and i would love for you to tell me about this picture okay the one on the left that was christmas at um I was spending Christmas with some friends and that's just what I looked like and that probably was also something that triggered me to get back to, to lose weight because you don't see yourself that long but when you see a picture of yourself you go it's like is that really me Have, what happened where why am I so bloated and you just don't realize you look that way and so that was what that first picture was and if you can't tell but um because of the, our shirts um kind of merge but i always would get a picture and put part of myself behind the other person so my whole body would show um, um so if you see her arm that's her arm right there in front then the picture on the right is me just a few weeks ago well probably three weeks ago and that was me i think at 164 pounds and i just look i, I look healthier i look brighter i've had people comment on my skin um i see i was having almost like um carrot um little scaly places on my skin they're gone and I can't wait to see my dermatologist for her to see because I each time I would say can you take this one off and that one because I would scratch them and they're gone my skin my skin is smooth it's it's just amazing to me yes that is awesome that is awesome and you look so much younger on this right hand side too much younger I yeah I agree I feel young I feel younger <laughs> Well, that is awesome. I am so, so, so excited. And I'm just thrilled that we get to do this journey together. And I thank you for taking the time to share with everybody else because you sharing is going to save lives. And we appreciate it very, very much. Well, I thank you and I thank you for mentoring me as you have. I, I thank Travis for, he's, he's just so, uh, I know he's put so much effort into this. To, and it, you can tell it's a ministry that he truly wants to help people change the help people with the quality of their life and then the men there are also mentors that i've been able to talk to and they're great to help guide me and then to ask questions and it's like now 
I'm, I'm on my own. I, they've had, they were so helpful that um, I just appreciate everybody and every everyone I've come in contact with. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Well, I said, but especially you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And we do appreciate your time. And I look forward to just doing this with you. We're going to do it together. Okay. Well, thank you. And You're thank welcome. thank you for the privilege of doing this. And I hope it'll help other people. Yes. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. And you're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you too.